I'm basically going to speak about relationship building in the IT community. So the first thing I'll say is um, a lot of us can be really shy or introverts here in the community. I took the Myers-Briggs test in college and I came back about as introvert as you can possibly come back. And I have lots and lots of friends in the Tuklahoma community. My husband, who's actually at my desk right now at Starspace 46, he's actually really shy. He also has relationships in the IT community. So you can be shy, you can be an introvert, and you can still build lots of relationships. And part of the thing about building relationships in the Tuklahoma community, it's about building real genuine relationships. Sometimes you go to events that aren't for IT, and it's about networking, it's kind of awkward, and you don't know who to talk to. It's a lot of really great people here in the community that you can build relationships with. So real quick, why would you want to build relationships? One, it can be really fun. You can also learn your skills faster, and then it might also help you find a job later. So just for fun, we've got a lot of people here, for example, that are trying to learn web development. They either want to become a developer or you're already a developer. You've kind of got something already built in. But you might find someone that also likes Stargate or Star Trek Discovery or some kind of other interest that you have. Another thing, it can help you learn your skills faster. So, for example, Jesse Harlan, Tecklahoma Foundation president, he's really amazing with JavaScript. We first met actually at a SQL event, actually. We started chatting, and he actually helped me out with some JavaScript with jQuery when jQuery was really popular. So you can also like learn your skills faster. And then also, it can help you in your job search. So you're looking for a new job, or you're looking for that first job, you can start asking people, hey, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a job. What are some of the really awesome companies to work for in Oklahoma City or Tulsa or wherever you're looking? Or if it's someone that knows you pretty well, hey, what places do you think would be a great fit for me? We're going to hear a presentation later talking about the right company for you. There are so many different sized companies. There are different cultures and different sized companies that are right fits for people. So that's a conversation that you can get going. Now, one thing I would say with respect to resumes, I would typically let someone offer to take your resume and pass it around. It can be kind of an awkward conversation as someone is like, hey, Kristen, um, I know you work at such and such company, uh, and could you pass my resume along? I've actually had that happen like at a Sunday school before with someone that I had never met before, and they were wanting me to pass their resume along. And the first impression I got from them is they might not be a right culture fit for the company I was at. So it was kind of an awkward conversation. You also may have someone hey, they work at company A, you want to work at company A, they may be thinking company A is horrible, they want to leave company A, and they may not want to pass your resume along because they don't think you're a good fit there because they don't like the company. So that's one thing I would say with resumes is you, you potentially will have people offer to pass your resume along, but I would say that's kind of the one thing. Let someone volunteer to do that for you. Now on the note for job search, my last three corporate jobs that I have had all came through people I knew. One of them was people I knew from a previous employer. They loved where they were at. They were trying to recruit me when I was looking to, to leave where I was at. Gave them a call. When they had an opening, they gave me a call. Like the position was pretty much mine to lose at that point. The second case was a case where it was actually a recruiter from a staffing firm that you'll see that will sponsor some events. In this case, she went to, on to work to Devon Energy. I was interested in working at Devon Energy, gave her a call, and she pretty much took my resume, went past the first screen immediately to the hiring manager. And then my most recent corporate job that I was at, because now I have my own consultancy, was someone that I'd known in the community for more than 10 years, like before it was even the Tecklehoma community. He took my resume and passed it along. So the people that you know can be great resources for helping find a job, even though that's not why we're really building the relationships. Long term, you can have those conversations. So how can you build relationships if you're new? One of the things at meetups is that I oftentimes try to do is sit next to people that I've never met before. So I sat next to Marcus in the back, had a great conversation with him, hadn't met him before. That was really great. I could have sat next to Kimberly, who I've known for several years, but that I wouldn't have met anyone else new. And Kimberly and I can talk on Slack whenever we want to. So that's one of the things I try to do. At conferences, which can be a little bit bigger, also sitting people that, next to you that you don't know can be really beneficial. Now one thing for people that are new or not new that's kind of starting to take hold at conferences is people are coming up with the idea of basically forming a you. So if you've got like 
Kimberly and I and Carson, I believe, like if we were having a conversation and we wanted like other people to join our conversation, we would like, I guess in our case, form a triangle, but kind of like a U that would show, hey, we've got space in our group so that you can come up and join that conversation. If two more people join that conversation, then we'd form a U, make sure we don't have a circle so that new people can come up. So I'd say if you're at a conference, definitely look for people that are in that U format. And if you're someone that's not new to conferences and you want people to come up and join your group, I'd highly recommend forming that use so that you can have more people come up and talk to you. So that's basically my talk on building relationships.